right, guys, I thought we'd talk a little bit about threat hunting. So I picked up a couple pieces in the, out in the news lately about uh, creating hunting programs and just sort of what threat hunting is. Um, just thought maybe we could have a little discussion about that. We talked about threat hunting, which is a, sort of a new concept, something we've been doing for a long time. It's more of a active uh, threat analysis where you're actually thinking about your adversary. Threat hunting has been around for a while, although today it's got more of a relevance because it's tied into threat intelligence. Threat hunting is one of those things that is, has been really around, but it's getting a lot more popularity. Uh, from my perspective, I think it's important, you know, it is a little bit of a buzzword, and I think, you know, groups like us have been doing this for a long time. We maybe never called it hunting. Really, part of a hunting program is knowing who is potentially coming after you, right. and knowing what to protect, how to protect it, where your most critical assets are, what your critical business processes are, and you know, and then also how to create a program, how to either retask your current analysts or create a separate um, threat hunting team or do a little bit of both where your, your security analysts, your SOC team uh, have some hunting responsibilities as well. Um, just sort of what the trends are in the industry in terms of doing uh, proactive hunting as well as the you know, more passive traditional security analysis. Yeah, we are seeing a mindset shift in terms of, you know, oh, this could never happen to me or what could somebody go after in my organization to the step where now organizations are starting to think about what would a hacker want to do? You know, where yeah. would a hacker go to get my data? Right. What right. are some of the points on my network which are sort of most vulnerable? Or where is the data flow that is potentially going to be a leakage, right? So we're seeing more and more of that these days. Having threat hunting as part of a proactive, continuous program, integrating with your existing security measures will help them stay ahead of the threats. We're all uh, looking at threat intelligence, mm -hmm. you know, where the latest vulnerability might impact our critical infrastructure and kind of being, you know, I don't know if you say one step ahead of the game, but at least being mindful of, you know, taking a look at what the intelligence is and then translating that into what you're protecting. Right. And there's a lot of community sharing more so in the past couple of years than there has been, especially in the threat intelligence space. Um, you know, it works to some degree, just right. sharing indicators, but also, um, you can't rely solely on it. So, you know, we do a lot of things where we try to kind of tease out new nuggets or indicators for actors by understanding the actor, which I think is what you're talking about yeah. in terms of the threat hunting. Uh, so you might know an, an indicator that was in use two months ago by a threat actor, maybe this was a, a C2 or something, right. but they abandoned that IP address right. or that domain two months ago. There are ways to use techniques to follow them through time forward to current time right. to find what, you know, using passive DNS metadata mining, flow analysis, things of that nature through time to kind of figure out where they are now. Um, and like you said, understand these threat actors and what are they after? You know, are they financially motivated? Are they targeting like payment card systems? Or are they a oh, nation the state actor or Pre insiders? Yeah. Right. Doing threat hunting effectively can uncover all kinds of things that are unexpected. So you might find a threat actor that's actually external to you. You might find an insider threat. And that's where a lot of that community sharing helps a lot. So if you're looking at something and you're not sure, sometimes you can ask other people in a lot of these community sharing groups, hey, have you guys you know, seen anything with this uh, in right. the past? And they'll say, oh yeah, we did. It was you know, this type of actor, et cetera, et cetera. So it is very useful. Yeah, so I mean, I think in general, you know, threat hunting is a, it's an interesting concept, but um, like threat intelligence, it's something that you have to be able to mature it, adjust it, making it new because the intelligence changes, the, the routes change, everything mm -hmm. changes. Right. And, you yeah. know, the actors change. Yeah. Yeah. I think the key change, is right. structured and repeatable, right? We want right. to make this part of your existing security programs and use this data to feed into your existing SOC and your intelligence actions. The article referred back to that, you know, understanding your basic traffic pattern and your basic way assets are being accessed so that you will find that anomaly, right? So right, right. This. absolutely. All right, thanks. All right, it's a good story.